if you want to have a tortoise, it takes a lot, a lot of work and care, but they're relatively easy pets. You should keep, keep one. But in this video today, we are going to explain how you can have your own Russian tortoise. It's not turtles, Russian tortoises. So Russian tortoises are actually very easy to take care of. Um, they're really good pets. Make really really good pets. Actually, I mean, well, you still have well, you still have to spend the money to take care of these pets. Just like all pets, but Russian tortoises are um really good pets, and you should get them if you if you're allergic to dogs or cats or any other feathers. Tortoises are kind of just like dogs right now. Kind of just like, it's like dogs, but like they won't like, it's like, come up to you and be like, oh, I can't wait you to you be, be home. Oh, yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. They're going to be like, they're going to be, be like, oh, I'm not surprised. Like, oh, kind of like cats or something. And, and like, like when they bond, if you when you bond for them, then they make really good pets. So I'm gonna talk about how you take care of them. I'm not an expert. Do not, some you can follow some, of, but don't follow like like all of them. Like okay, like you have to feed this or that. So feeding, feeding is really good. As you saw in the intro of, um, right now. So. So Russian tortoises are they don't mainly eat greens, and and but don't give them. But here's a common mistake: don't give them fruit. Fruit is basically like a treat for them. It's like they'll eat their food, they'll eat it, but like they can cause famine problems. It's like wax worms with leopard geckos. I mean leopard geckos. If you watch my channel, they're really. They like they like black worms, but don't just mainly give them black worms because they're high in fat. So yeah, don't give them black worms. Next up is um like this is the most important part you need to know. Like um where are they gonna live? Where are they gonna live? Like where are they they can't just like roam around. So like let's say in the summer you wanna like make a little box. You get a little box. Like outside, like if you live in Maryland, don't do that. Like, like if you somewhere like warm places, like with not a lot of predators, and if you have an actual good fence, then yeah, you can put it outside. But like if you're like me living in Maryland, you shouldn't put them outside because, uh, like my my house has um not really a good fence, and so deer, fox, anything could potentially get into my backyard. And then accidentally harm my turtle, or, or I mean tortoise. Oh, and then the accidentally you harm them, or the tortoise could escape. And if if um he does escape, he's not in the right climate, or I mean, well he's not really in the right, he's not really in the right habitat because these guys are from Russia. Remember, they they're usually good in cold places, not like really cold, like on the video posting it right now in December, not this cold, but like. Yeah, they're kind of used to the cold, but like, like, so, they're kind of, yeah, so don't put them outside if you're near me, if you, if you don't have a good fence. If you're inside or something, so if you're inside, it's really cold. Um, so, so you want to put your Russian tortoise in like a wooden house like this. This is actually really good. It's a really good house. I thought... I didn't think it was gonna be this good, but like it's really good. Even right there. Yeah, so you see what I have is he has a little hidey hole, so I don't need to buy a log. He has a little pool. He has a plant right there. The last time we saw him, his plant was probably over there. He has a little food tray. He hears me, so that's why he's not eating. So yeah. It's just me, it's a bit, but like these things are like two hundred dollars, so you gotta be able to like put the effort or money in. They're not cheap. The tortoise itself is not cheap. And the stuff you need for it isn't cheap. Maybe you get okay. Yeah, you won't want to get like a wooden house like this. Don't get glass enclosures. 
See, this is a grass. It's like some kind of thing. My mom never told me. And you have barbed wire things like this. This. And. Excuse me, because I was talking. So, yeah, basically, you gotta put money and effort and don't get go. That's because it's sometimes this guy would run into um, the walls and be like, oh, unlike leopard get, unlike um, it ripped out, they're kind of dumb. So, he's a trying to make that So, yeah. So that's them. Our next group is Substrate. Substrate. It says Future AJ. Okay, since Future AJ right now, you might not look at it. It's Future AJ. So, um, Substrate is a really important part. I just realized that. Like, oh crap! I need to talk to these guys. Why did I put it in the extra section? So like, so like, I'm gonna talk to you about Substrate. Substrate is like really important for them. Okay. Now, obviously, I should, I should, I guess, um. You don't want to, because you don't want to put, like, plastic, because you always want to put a napkin for reptiles, because plastic's kind of bad for them, their skin. Yeah, but next, what the, you don't know about tor Russian tortoises, they burrow. They burrow. A lot of people don't know this about tortoises, but they start to bur burrow when they get used to their um, enclosure. He actually just, he actually was burrowing. But, but since I had to, like, put water in there and he needed a bath, so I gave him a bath and I had, had to clean up the um, burrowing because he was starting to get put to the bottom of the thing. I didn't want to put some plastic. It's not really two inches deep. Sorry, bro, I had to, um, make the digging, digging process harder. Yeah, so, yeah, they dig. You did two inches. I don't know if it's two, two inches. It's probably not if he selects to dig. No, it's right there. So, so, yeah, they like to dig. And um, um, plants, they do really good in here. Did you poop? Did you poop? Did you poop? Did you poop, little tortoise? Did you poop? Did you poop, Chungus? Yeah, so basically, what it, so basically, yeah, they need some. You need like wood chips, or, like mulch, and reptile substrate is what they need is ideal for them. And just mix it in with the uh, with some uh, eco earth. Where's my eco earth? It's right there. That you definitely know is you get from around here. So yeah, you want to get eco earth and that and so a good stuff they bit heat pads? Uh, uh, fine, I fine I guess. I don't know about he I put it under the enclosure, but there's no way I can put it that like it's under the enclosure. I can put it under the enclosure. But I don't know about little little um chungus. So yeah, substrate is really important for them. You need you know the substrate. Next up is heating. All right, you guys need to, heating is one of the most important parts. Well, it's kind of hot in here. Oh, door so I can waste it here. It's hot in here. It's like 82 degrees in here. You see, so heating. It's heated in the humidity. Um, so it's really important. They need so like in the daytime, let's say they need to be eighty two degrees in here. Well well eighties or something. In the, basically in the eighties, not in eighties to nineties, but don't get over that because your torus will burn. You know where you hear me talking about, right? Your tortoise will burn. I mean, because Russian tortoises aren't, like I said, they're from cold climates. Um, so, th so they need heat, but they don't need like a lot, a lot, lot. So, yeah, they don't need a lot of heat. And humidity, humidity is a good part in this enclosure. So let's say you have a wooden enclosure like, like this. You need a spray. You need to spray your enclosure. With with like any like tap water or distilled water. Tap water should be fine. And then I recommend you distilled water if you have any. Don't do drinking water, that's just stupid. But yeah, you spray, spray. And especially if you have wood, because wood actually like creates the humidity. Humidity you need these two need humidity if you're gonna have a hot place. Okay? It's my mom. Hello. I'm just talking to them about humidity and yeah, all that stuff. Awesome. 
All right. Let's look at my phone. So basically, you basically so yeah, spray um water bottle and water for like for like multiple times in the day, especially if you have two animals like a leopard gecko in here. Yeah, um, if you have that, if you have have like spray cans, you spray it in there because that's how my because my mom accidentally killed a tortoise that was supposed to be a surprise for Christmas, but yeah. And where is it now? Dead. So yeah, I didn't kill it. it was my mom, she just gave me. Yeah, that's the human and the part. Next up is some extras. I don't know. It's extra stuff you need to have. I think. All right, one. No one thing. You do not need to put plants in there. I, I would recommend plants, but like make it plants like that do not look real. Don't like. Like, super realistic plants will try biting on it, and then you can towards get sick or die. Yeah. Don't worry, my... You don't worry. Basically, you shouldn't put, like, like real plant, like plants in there. It shouldn't really... And also, real plants! It depends. It depends. It depends. It depends. It depends. Depends which bedding you have. It depends. It really depends. So, so if you literally should put plants in there, they probably will bite it. So you just be aware of that. We'll probably try to eat it. Don't want to put there and there. Yeah. So next, so what? Next, my next is bathing. Bathing. This is an ex. This is an extra section because bathing is really weird. Well, th this is an important thing. What? They need bathing so their shell will probably get like deformed or something or like get bad. Yeah, so basically they need shell. They need to wash the bodies. Because like usually in the wild, they go to like ponds or river or something. something, And then just, just bathe. It's like just sit in there. They don't swim. Don't put them in like giant bins and then overfill it because unlike turtles, they, they don't swim. So yeah. They don't do that. Don't, don't put them in like super high bin, high bins, high water bins. Don't do that. And and rocks, no rocks, rocks. I meh, meh. Now rocks, like they don't really do anything with rocks per se. Like the only thing you're gonna have to do is like. Is like you gotta worry about them. Sometimes they're really dumb. I told you they're really dumb. They might accidentally do something with the rocks. I'm not telling you what, cause that's <coughs> we'll get demonetized. Get demonetized. Yeah, so they might do something. It depends on how dumb your tortoise is, basically. But rocks, they're fine. If they fall over, that's also a bad thing. It's a bad thing. Yeah, that's for the extras. And so that is that with all the stuff you need for your tortoise. And so, yeah. Yeah, but I don't know how much it's going to cost. It's my, my, the money you have. But my mom says it was it was like over like, like lots of money. Over a hundreds. Over hundreds. Probably over hundreds. Yeah. You got to do a lot of stuff for little tiny guys. Tortoises. I'm the Reptile Geek here, and um, that is it. This is a little baby so called tortoise. This is totally a real one. And see you in the next video. I'm probably going to make a care guy. Right about you know, bye.